Sports are fun. I crave the competition, the adrenaline, and the challenge. In high school, I made some of my best friends through football. Sports could be hard at times, even painful, but my teammates and I shared that challenge and shared that pain, and we had a common goal. And of course, sports are our common culture. They cut across age, race, economic status. When a kid turns on the TV, he or she sees athletes, not mathematicians, they see how desirable it is to be an NFL player or an NBA star or even a relatively mediocre unpaid college point guard with a future as a plumber. They don't see the part about the plumber, but <laughs> if you have any athletic talent when you're a kid, people will encourage it. I had coaches in my ear motivating me to do just one more rep in the weight room when I thought I couldn't do any more. I had the example of so many athletes and teammates next to me putting it on the line. Strangers would come up to me and encourage me. They would literally cheer for me. Strangers. And I'm not talking about my time in the NFL. I'm talking about high school. Needless to say, I didn't have math teachers who were coaxing one more problem out of they weren't calling the Princeton math department and telling them to recruit me the way my high school football coach was calling the Alabama football team. I didn't have any public mathematicians to inspire me or for me to want to emulate. I didn't even know what a mathematician did when I was a kid. I believe it's up to all of us to encourage young people to pursue mathematics, whether as a career or as a tool in whatever they're passionate in or even as a source of pleasure, the way puzzles are for me. It's my goal, even, I believe, my responsibility to try to help others see how fascinating, rewarding, and even fun mathematics can be. I want us to put an end to the idea that anyone can say, casually, that math isn't for me. Math should be, in some respect, for everyone. We don't, as a society, tolerate illiteracy. We shouldn't accept math illiteracy either. Beyond that, thank you. <laughs> Beyond that, I believe we should identify those who are interested in math, encourage them, and give them opportunities to push themselves and excel, much in the same way people routinely do for young athletes. I wish that when I were in high school, I had mathematicians to look up to and inspire me. How can we motivate young people to become interested in math? There will always be kids who know from an early age that that is what they love, who dream of winning the math Olympiad, not a gold medal at the Olympics. But that only describes a few. I'll bet there are a whole lot more kids just like me, who weren't even aware of their aptitude and interest, who weren't being challenged, who didn't even know that mathematics is a field that you can do things in. How do we reach them? How do we show them that math isn't just homework, that it isn't just drudgery? The National Museum of Mathematics is an important part of this effort. Their emphasis on interactive exhibitions, collaborative projects, and surprising solutions can instill a sense of wonder and excitement about mathematics. They can help instill a sense of satisfaction when a hard problem or puzzle is solved. I know no better feeling than that sense of satisfaction. It's not unlike winning a game, only the game couldn't be more important. It's the game of determining what holds true. Thank you again to the National Museum of Mathematics, and most importantly, thank you to all of you. When a child looks at the Museum of Math, they see interesting and challenging exhibits and games, and a glimpse of the fascinating mathematics that underpins them. When I look at the museum, I see something different, 
I see a community of people who know in their hearts that math matters and who have made it a part of their life's mission to promote mathematics and inspire the next generation of young thinkers. And it warms my heart. For that, I thank you.